In this video, I'm going to talk about creating a simple balance sheet um, off of a SQL database um, in Crystal Reports. So I'm going to go through uh, the database quickly. Um, I have three tables that I'm going to use. Uh, account type, which just gives me a list of um, my general account types, asset liabilities, equity, revenue, and expense. Um, my actual accounts, down to the detail. Um, it gives me like a fixed asset, equipment, computer equipment, bank accounts, um, whatever account is in your system. And then my transaction table or journal table in this case, um, sometimes it's called transaction uh, or trans table in some, in some databases, accounting databases. Execute. Um, and so here you have the, your actual transactions. Um, the date and then your debits and credits here. <clears throat> okay, and so up here I have my SQL statement that I've written simple. Um, it's basically so I, for for my assets and liabilities, um, I have the name uh, for the type of the account and then the actual account name um, from my account table. And then here I have a case statement that says when it's an asset, I want to see my debits minus my credits. Um, otherwise, if it's a liability or equity, I want to see my credits minus my debits. And that's the actual amount. Um, and then I'm doing a union statement for my equity section um, because it doesn't actually do that for me in the database. I have to calculate retained earnings, um, which is uh, basically your, your net income. Um, and so, Um, and so here, so here I'm, I'm doing that and taking my revenue and expense accounts, um, and adding those to, or subtracting my, my expenses from my revenues to get my, to get my net income, um, which is my retained earnings on my balance sheet. And then, um, here I have my total liability and equities. And, and here I'm basically taking my liabilities and adding my my equity which is my retained earnings account here so so what I'm gonna do is take this whole SQL statement and copy it out copy and I'm gonna here I have a blank report open in crystal and this is my database expert um, let me just show you how to get to that really fast so here I have my blank report and then I'm going to right click on my database fields here and then go to my database expert. Uh, okay, so here we have, here's my, here's my database and I'm right under it, it says add command. I'm going to do, I'm going to do your add command. I'm double clicking. Okay, and then I'm going to paste my SQL statement in here. And well, I'm going to create a parameter for my date. Um, I'm going to call it date date and then I'm going to choose my value type as date and then the default value um, it automatically puts in uh, today's date so I'm going to leave it leave it there say okay and then here instead of here I'm hard coding the date in I'm going to actually choose this date so I double click on the parameter list to give me my date here and in each section I'm doing this so basically it's telling me I want the each transaction where the journal date is less than or equal to this, the date that I choose. And then I actually am going to copy and paste that formula down here as well in my total liabilities and equity section. Okay. And then I'm going to say okay. And then it's asking me to choose my date, and so I'm going to choose that default date, and say, and say okay. Okay, so there's my command. You can always edit your command by right-clicking and edit, or just view. Okay, okay, so that should be right. I'm going to say okay. Okay, and so here, um, you can see I have my command over here with my 
fields. And so I'm going to add a group for the type. And so here I have my group expert, which is this little icon here. I'm going to group by type. And then I'm going to click open my options because I want it in a specified order. In a balance sheet, you're going to want the assets, then your liabilities, then your equity, and then your liability and equity total there. Say OK. And I'm going to say OK. And there it puts my group, my group header name in there for me. Um, and so then I'm going to add my account and then also my amount. I'm going to get rid of these headings here. OK, so I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. OK, so here we go. We have our assets, liabilities, equity, and then liability and equity section. Um, and so what I'm going to need now are some totals. I'm going to go back to my design, right click on amount, and insert. Move this over so you can see it a little better. Insert uh, summary. And then here I'm going to insert my summary into my group levels. Say OK. OK. OK, let's look at what that looks like. OK, so here we have the totals of each section. And now what I want is a double line um, underlining my assets and then my, my assets and liability or my liabilities and equ equity. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to Format Field, right click in Format Field, and go to my borders. And then the tops, I'm going to say single. And then my bottoms, I'm going to click on the formula button here because I'm going to do a, con a conditional formula for this. And basically, it's going to say if my type equals or sorry, I'm going to say in, and then I'm going to say assets, asset, and then liability and equity. Then give me the CR double line, else, I want to see the CR single line, and I'm going to say save and close, say OK. OK, so now you see that it gave me my double line under my total assets and then my total liability and equity. Um, and so you can see that here that these these two with the double lines actually match. And, that's, and, and you should always have that in a balance sheet. They should always match. If they don't match, then um, something is off. So you have a problem. Um, and then I think I'm actually going to hide this line because this is kind of this is doubling up here. So I'm gonna I'm going to go to my section expert, and this is total liability and equity. Go to my section expert, and then that is going to be my detail section. OK, and I'm going to do a formula here that says suppress where my account equals um, total liability and equity. OK. OK, so that's less redundancy. And then last but not least, I'm going to insert a, a title at the top. Um, text box, my report header, I'm going to say balance sheet. And then make that a little bit. 
bigger. And I'm going to say, as of, I'm going to make this, drag this down so I have a little more room. And then I'm going to do, put in my parameter date. So I'm going to say, put in another text box here and say, as of, and drop down my parameter and put in my date here. And so you can see it says as of 2018-2013. And that's it. Center this a little bit. There you have your simple balance sheet and crystal reports.